Hey, Chris Harrington here. Um, hope everyone's having a good day. Just wanted to give you a little more info on the Wim Hof method. Uh, if every, if anyone, I, I feel like you know it's talked about so much, but not many people know really how powerful this stuff is. Um, and some people are like, oh, I don't want to hike a mountain in my underwear uh, in the snow. And that's part of the Wim Hof method to be able to control uh, your body temperature, but it's so much more, right? It's about controlling your whole physiology, uh, your happiness, your health. So um, if you haven't seen the study that changed medical history forever um, and I had to, they had to change a lot of tech, science textbooks worldwide because of this study done in a Dutch university. First, it was just Wim Hof on his own proving that he could be injected uh, with an E. coli bacteria and be 100% okay and, and, and be in control of his immune system. And they were like, oh, you're, it's just you, only you can do it. So he got a whole group of people with no prior experience within four days. He said he'd need 10 days, only took four days. And... Um, they're able to sit and just through breathing and mindset, we're able to be, it, we're, we're injected with E. coli bacteria and we're able to suppress the uh, immune effect, uh, immune uh, response. So this is mostly done by tapping into your adrenal axis. You can look, you can uh, look up this study and um, if I start talking about cytokines and, and stuff like that, I'll probably say something wrong and one of you out there that's actually a scientist um, I'll lose all my cred. Um, so if you haven't, just by breathing uh, one to four rounds, you can get your body from acid to alkaline, which means a lot of emotional pain, a lot of physical pain stops. Uh, the, in this study, the, the students were able to get their body alkaline uh, to, an alka to a pH level of 7.75, uh, some of the students. When your out, blood alkalinity hits 7.6, the, the receptors in your blood that detect acidity stop sending signals to your pain receptors. Also, bacteria can't thrive as well in an alkaline body. You can literally test, you can do this yourself at home and, and test your saliva or your blood, probably be careful doing that. Uh, and you can see that your body has, has turned alkaline. Um, this is basically done by taking more oxygen in than out. Uh, you know, in one of my previous videos, I, I, I put a link down below for the one of my favorite videos to do the breathing rounds to. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, it's as simple as it is effective. 30 to 40 breaths, in more than out, fully in, belly, ch belly chest, head. <sighs> Let go. Some people like to do it really fast. Some people like to do it slow. And um, you do it on your own, you can start to uh, tap into your own physiology by doing it faster and slower and learning and following the feeling. Uh, you do 30 to 40 breaths and then after exhalation, you hold. You hold as long as you can, you'd be amazed, you'd be able to hold your breath amazingly long uh, with no air in the lungs. And that when you can't, when you feel the urge to breathe, you breathe it in and you squeeze the energy, the oxygen, the pressure to your head for 10 to 15 seconds and you let go, you relax. That's one round. Try two to four rounds, but just after one, fr one round, uh, profound effects. Uh, I'll talk more about the science in future videos. Um, love y'all. Have a nice day. Bye.